Thank you. Rivets, a blockchain smartphone secret sauce. I will deliver this in English, uh, relax, but uh, I do speak Mandarin. My company is called Rivets Corp. My name is Carl Weaver. I'm a wireless market mobile device specialist. I've been involved in the Chinese um, wireless industry since 1985. Um, I've also worked for Jamalto, Trustonic, and Arm, uh, promoting uh, various embedded software solutions into smartphones. Um, Today's presentation, again, the blockchain smartphone secret sauce, and it really is secret sauce. Let me move forward. What is decentralized security? Basically, you're transitioning from risk to trust, and that's really important. Everything in China is about trust, everything. So here's the new reality. You're moving from PKI, okay, to transforming into the blockchain, but also you're taking a traditional single root of trust and you're transforming that into dual roots of trust with the SIM, and the TEE, and what we're providing is dual roots of trust. Let me move forward. So you want to provide or we're trying to provide a we're building a pro provable security we are building provable security which does what we provide enterprise controls smart contract controls unique controls user controls and cloud controls and we have rules for how you access the blockchain to provide you security. So that's how you get security by adhering to rules. We are uh, basically, on your device, we have a measured execution or the so-called TEE. This is called the Trusted Execution Environment. What is it? It's a security vault. It's a secret vault and it's on your smartphone right now. Did you know that? No. No? Yes, no? So basically, all ARM technology, all ARM IP smartphones in the world, including Apple and all Android phones, have a technology called Trust Zone. Trust Zone is a firewall environment in a chip, and it accompanies the trusted execution environment, which is a software security operating system. Right? We take and use our developer tools to access the trusted execution environment in order to provide decentralized apps the access to the blockchain in a secure manner. So that's why you can see here we're using blockchain trans transaction processing, hash and integrity hash, transmit hash, integrity hash. Putting hardware to work, that's what we're doing. We're putting the existing hardware on smartphones to work and we're using our tokens to access security and provide value as you write contracts and other essential things in the blockchain. Uh, Rivet's toolkit for TE, protected services and keys and management, new business model. Is this a new business model for assured security? Um, uh, pro provable measurable controls to meet global GDP demands, that's good for European companies uh, or Europeans in general. Blockchain powered environment. The environment is blockchain powered. We're delivering increased subscriber value for the subscriber, simplifying the user experience, okay? And um, we're supporting next generation e-commerce as well, commerce as well. Now, what is Rivet's security architecture? Well, I kind of went through it. We have developer tools. And it's already built into all the smartphones. You don't have to worry, where am I going to find this stuff? It's in your phone already. It just hasn't been turned on because that costs money. All right? And we provide these developer tools along with the TE and Arms Trust Zone. We provide, we are delivering third-party digital asset protection. 
your smartphone has lots of digital assets. You need to protect them, especially in the blockchain if you have cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin and it's in the open operating system of the smartphone. Wow, what a tent one done. Because hey, cook, hey, poor you. Hackers can steal your cryptocurrencies uh, if it's on an open operating system in the smartphone. That's not good. That's not cool. You don't want your valuable digital assets stolen. So we provide the way to secure that. We're pioneering the concept also of this dual independent roots of trust for a mobile device. Um, and we're ensuring the quality of your transactions too. And we help you manage your digital assets across the collection of smartphone devices. Today, you don't, um, today, Jeff or Ian, you don't just have a smartphone. You have a smart TV, you have a smart car, you have a tablet, you might even have a notebook. Am I correct? You need to manage all of those assets, not just one. It's kind of involved with this whole concept of using the eSIM now. Right, use one eSIM phone number for all these multiple devices. It's kind of connected to that, and we're involved in that as well. I'll go further and explain. But very quickly, in order to provide security for the embedded UICC or the eSIM operating system, these are the ways you do it. I'll be very quick. We, you provide it easy, either in a connectivity chip on your smartphone, you provide it in the TEE, Cushing Jirshing Wanjing, which is number two here. The third one is basically an eSIM uh, regular form factor SIM card, or number four, the eSIM module. And number five, something new, something called iSIM from Qualcomm. They're calling it Qualcomm SPU, or ARM is also supplying such a solution for their secure enclave, their, S, their SP, uh, PSA, actually, technology. Let me go forward. So we have a developer tool environment. We are providing developer tools, and we have our own platform for security of the blockchain. This is what we can do with our platform. It's called Rivets Register. We have a developer toolkit, and we are licensing that on GitHub. We're about to officially launch in a few weeks. We love to talk to developers. Are there any developers here in the room? Raise your hand. Who's a developer? Any software developers here? Oh, please, somebody raise their hand. Okay, so <laughs> Rivets Toolkit enabled trusted computing, trusted processing in device applications. Um, let me move forward. Decentralized security. I mean, the blockchain is about decentralization of your, your dApps, um, but what we're enabling is a new, um, a new model for shared control. We're reducing the single point of failure also. That's why you have dual roots of trust. You're reducing a single point of failure because actually the TEE can fail, the eSIM can fail, but together, on the same smartphone, they, the, the probability of failing is very, very low. We provide attestation to make sure that the person writing the contract is the person who's intended to write the contract, and not somebody who's stolen your smartphone in your Bitcoin wallet. Oh my God, they are in real big trouble when they do that. All right, so we're enabling new control models, reducing single vendor risk of critical systems, decentralized security. Um, introducing dual roots of trust. I explained that. That's the TE, the Trusted execu Execution Environment, and the USIM or ESIM together for the attestation of the transaction you're putting into the blockchain. Assured instructions, what is that? Well, when you're going to make sure that your transactions are going into the blockchain or going into anything, you need to know that it has to be a known user, a known device, and a known condition. When you have all those, you can have assured instructions. We're providing assured instructions for when you write your applications into the blockchain. Shared control. I talked about this before, but this is a little bit better. You can see a better uh, representation of this right here. What is it? We have a, a Rivets um, trusted app in the TE. It's half the security, half the crypto. The other half of the crypto is in the USIM or eSIM. You notice I have a USIM and eSIM there. For us, it's irrelevant, the form factor. But the key is you must keep half the security or half the secret or half the crypto in both areas when you're trying to attestate the uh, device in the blockchain. That, behind the back, okay. <clears throat> TE and USIM opportunities. 
we will uh, we are going to widely deploy the TE to SIM communications uh, for various uh, protocols here, and also <coughs> let me move forward. These decentralized security applications are basically. I hate to say this in China, but there's no censorship in a decentralized security application. There's no censorship. So blockchain technology is inherently decentralized. It's really important. And by the way, China is probably the largest blockchain market on the planet. There's just people outside of China who don't know that. We know that. State-of-the-art protection. We are providing state-of-the-art protection for identity, for blockchain applications, for Ulianwang, IoT, uh, and for enterprise usage. Multiple trust authorities assure provable trust, uh, enable strong GDP. I mentioned that before. Let me move forward. Blockchain delivered controls. I kind of said this before, but this picture really gives you a better representation. We secure in sort of a, a vault, a safe, if you will, inside the handset for you to uh, store and use when you need. And you have the crypto key to open it. You open it. The Rivets Network provides device and service uh, provider registration. All of these things you see here, we're conforming with the global standards, global platform. Does anybody know who the global platform is? Who knows global platform? This is a wireless show, right? Does anybody know what global platform does? They standardize the secure element and the TEE in all mobile devices. All right. Uh, and then our network offers a variety of, uh, we call it rivets, token, for usage. We have a, we provide our rivets token that you can use to access the blockchain. Of course, you pay for that, right? Um, how am I doing for time? Am I doing okay for time? Oh, minutes. A lot can be done in two minutes. All right. So this this dual root of trust technology, we have announced a relationship with Telefonica. Telefonica. Does anybody know who Telefon Telefonica is? Uh,各位, the remember answer to get Telefonica. Anybody? So we have um, announced a relationship with Telefonica um, of Spain, but they're actually a huge mobile network operator. We've announced a relationship uh, and a project for this dual root of trust technology to provide mobile device security of the blockchain. There's the announcement right there. I wouldn't lie. Uh, this is me, Way Carter, Carl Weaver. Um, and I would, and there's, you notice the email, and you notice the cell phone, and you notice the website. I'm very happy to talk to people after this, um, after my presentation, because we know that there are lots of people interested in the blockchain in China. Um, irrelevant of cryptocurrency and irrelevant of Bitcoin, blockchain is much bigger than that. Blockchain will be used in China for multiple types of of use cases, in fact, hundreds of use cases. So, everyone, again, Carl Weaver is my name. I work for Rivets Corp. We provide mobile device security for the blockchain. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you so much, Carl. Um, there is a kind of vault already included in most smartphones today known as the Trusted Execution Environment, or TEE. Inside this tamper-proof vault, sensitive data and transactions are processed in a completely secure, isolated environment. And Rivets is the key to this vault. Rivets provides a state-of-the-art toolkit for harnessing the hardware-based trusted execution environment in mobile devices to protect secrets, finances, and providing privacy from external threats. This secures customers' devices from being exposed and protects software development companies from financial exposure and public embarrassment. Imagine how much sensitive data you have on your phone and how many apps have asked to see it. Imagine someone looking into your bank account statement and your home anytime they wanted to. They could listen to your calls, steal your photographs, identity, or cause problems under your name. Today, 
billions of smartphones are at risk of getting hacked simply because individual applications share too much information with each other. However, it's not the customer's fault. It's up to developers to lead the battle and take advantage of the vault included inside most smartphones today. If you want real security, rivet your app using the Rivets Software Development Kit. Rivets uses the Rivet token and blockchain to verify the integrity of the trusted execution environment, all the way from manufacturer to your pocket. Rivets attaches a unique cryptographic identifier to each computation and transaction, ensuring that the desired security protections are always in place. And by giving you direct access to blockchain-based health checks and built-in hardware security, Rivets offers the safest way to build mobile applications of any type and scale, many times faster and more robust than making your own solution. Rivet your app, because when users can trust their devices, they trust you as well. Trustonic,就是帮助他们。最后我才二人公司推销那个内置型新卡的技术。我刚刚换工作,我现在在一家公司叫Rivets,Rivets就中文叫瑞伟士公司。我们现在已经退销是。双科新卡,主roots Trustzone,保护它的自然的那个,自然的那个,它的芯片内。我们公司啊,Rivets公司,我们是退下,去跨年的那个,就让手表的安全,去跨年的,就让手表的安全,去跨年,blockchain. So, let me say that in English now, I'll leave it. So, in your smartphone, in everybody's smartphone, you have a vault. It's a secret vault, which is in every single Android smartphone as well as every single Apple phone from Apple iPhone 6 on. It's a secret vault. You open that vault using the trusted execution environment. In that vault is ARM's trust zone, a firewall environment where you can take your app and secure mobile payments, even actually streaming, streaming video content can be used. But we're using it with our own wallet and token to provide security for the blockchain. Now, I didn't turn my power, I didn't turn the PowerPoint. Uh, 我还有那个英文的介绍，所以那个啊啊，any uh, Western people want the English version? You you got the English and the Chinese. 啊，最后我礼拜五在那个世界移动大会，我会提供啊两个不同的演讲。So I will be providing uh delivering two presentations at the Mobile World Congress on Friday. One on embedded SIM. I'll be sitting on a workshop talking about 内置电信卡的技术。第二个就是我会推销我们公司的技术。在那个就是双科性感的技术 uh, So dual roots of trust are really important uh, Am I running out of time? Do I have a few minutes more? So why are dual roots, roots of trust very important? Because the TEE, which is inside the mobile apps processor chip of all these smartphones provides a certain level of security common criteria, EAL, 2 or 2 plus at most So the security is not quite enough for some operators However, the eSIM or the USIM has what we call the secure element. The secure element provides four plus uh, security evaluation level. So, but the problem is, is you can't guarantee somebody who steals your phone for your blockchain uh, to co to tokens or your bit Bitcoin. You can't guarantee that person is 
who if they are, if they stole the phone and want to write to the blockchain, we provide the dual roots of trust to confirm that the person who intended to write the transaction is the actual person who wrote the transaction because we can determine we have the secret or the jami, huh? the cryptography keys in the TE as well as in the eSIM or USIM in the secure element. So that's the way you provide security for the blockchain on blockchain smartphones. Uh, so I know, we know that Huawei, uh, Lenovo, and maybe Xiaomi are gonna work on blockchain phones. In the future, all these smartphone vendors will have a blockchain phone. So you're going to show the That's it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.